Hello and welcome to this weekend edition of the Daily Dose of Greek. And today I want to talk about a new introductory Greek grammar that has just come out, released August the 1st. It is entitled, Beginning with New Testament Greek. Beginning with New Testament Greek, an introductory study of the grammar and syntax of the New Testament. And this book is co-authored by myself and my good friend Ben Merkel. The short version of this video is go to beginninggreek.com to see all about the new grammar and all kinds of free resources keyed to the grammar. Let's go to that web page, beginning with New Testament Greek. You can see here it lists characteristics and of the grammar and what's unique about it, where you can order it, endorsements, and so on. Here's all the free resources. I am really excited about these tons of free resources we can provide, as well as all of these free videos, video lectures related to each chapter, a vocabulary video for each chapter, songs and memory devices. I mean, this is a wealth of material that we are providing for free. I know someone probably would like to glance inside the book. Each chapter begins with a significant section where we talk about, hey, here's here's a a passage in the New Testament that illustrates the importance of what we're learning, why we why we want to read the Bible in the original languages. The material is presented in a very traditional pedagogical manner, but I think very clearly with clear explanations and up-to-date scholarship. Also, we bring in a morphological presentation for those who prefer a little bit more emphasis on that. Each chapter ends with extensive practice exercises, and there is an answer key created by the authors ourselves in the back of the book, so with students in mind and the questions they have, right? So there's, there's extensive homework exercises as well as an answer key incorporated into the book. So here, the homework exercises build skills step by step, until finally each homework exercise has translation. The translation comes all from the Greek New Testament from the very beginning. So students are really encouraged to be translating from the Bible. There is also made up sentences translating English to Greek. Each chapter ends with a vocabulary section. I really love the way my co-author Ben Merkel, he says, let's do the vocabulary for the next chapter at the end of the previous chapter. So students can can apply the words they're they're learning and learn to conjugate, decline them, and learn skills with them without having to learn the new vocabulary too. We give extensive derivatives or cognates to help you learn the vocabulary. Also, if you look on the webpage that I mentioned, there are all kinds of free resources related to vocabulary. Free set of Anki digital flashcards, free set of Memrise digital flashcards. There are uh, sort of premier for purchase flashcards by these app program, by these different apps um, that are not ours, but we have given them permission to include our grammar within their app, the Bible Vocab Plus app, a great app, Flash, Flash Greek Pro app. The Biblingo, I think some of you will especially be interested in this. Uh, this is a program, this is a, a company that emphasizes the communicate, communicative language method. And you can see here, uh, they have digital video flashcards. And so this is the one for Kradzo. And you can choose modern Greek pronunciation, reconstructed Koine, or um, Erasmian. And, and again, this is an extra subscription or for purchase. But for those who are interested in, in edging into communicative language methods of learning, what a great, what a great resource to, ha to be able to use. Um, I, we also have for vocabulary, we have... Uh, this is something a student created, a scripture reference, a scripture verse that uses every one of those vocabulary words in the order that you learn them. Also, a very creative student who's good with, with uh, memory devices created uh, silly and memorable devices. For example, here we have Zoe. My friend Zoe is full of life. You know, Zoe means life. Little 32 pages of these, one for every a memory device for every single vocabulary word in the book. Isn't that cool? I'm excited by that, right? Also, <laughs> also notice downloadable by students, by faculty, by anyone is this OneNote notebook. I don't know if you're familiar with OneNote, but it is part of the Microsoft Office suite. So if you own, if you have Microsoft Office, uh, or if you don't and you're faculty or student, you can get a free download of Microsoft Office 365 if you Google it. If you have that on your computer and you download that OneNote notebook, you'll open up something that looks like this. And there'll be a file or subfolder for every chapter in the book. And we have preloaded 
all these charts on here, which then you can, as a student or faculty, you can write on. Let's say you're presenting this material to a class or reviewing it. You have the option of writing, doing all these things. This is what I do with the Daily Dose of Greek, right? I use the draw feature within OneNote. And so we're giving you the entire notebook for uh, that's keyed to the grammar that also includes the homework exercises right so say your faculty member maybe you have students watch an overview video and then you you zoom with them uh, and go through the homework exercises and talk through those with them and you're able to share the work you're doing as you work on the screen if you have something like zoom and you share the screen with the students this OneNote program for me has been revolutionary in the way I teach Greek in the classroom and online. So I just uh, commend it to you, and I'm happy to share this with you. And if you're a teacher, um, that you could make use of it yourself. Notice also, among the free resources here, we have PowerPoint, right? Full PowerPoint for every chapter. You, you teachers and can get that. Also notice there's a student download version of that. Um, so, and, and notice here for teachers as well, we have, you can get exams, you have to request these teachers, exams, quizzes, and keys, there are syllabi you can download, so we're, we're trying to make it as easy as possible to switch textbooks if you want to, or to take this textbook and plug it into the classroom. So my friend Ben Merkel and I, it's our desire and our passion to get as many people possible reading the Greek New Testament because we know that when you come close to the Word of God, you come to see the glory of Jesus Christ and his life and what he's done for us, his life and death. Um, and you come to know and love the triune God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And it's our prayer and joy that more and more people would come to read the Bible, to love God, and to be uh, transformed as the Spirit presses his Word down deep into our hearts.